I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And let me first share with you the excellent news. And that is, we have crossed 100,000 subscribers today. Thank you all. So, we have a strong family of 100,000 together, globally placed. Thank you. Now here is a request from one of our subscribers in England who is uh, preparing for Cambridge International exams. The question here is 2 square root 3 plus x times 5 square root 3 minus x equals to y square root 3 plus y. Where x and y are positive integers, find possible value of x and y. I would like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin by expanding the left side. Let me first copy the question here again. We have 2 square root 3 plus x times 5 square root 3 minus x equals to y square root 3 plus 5, right? So let's expand this side. So we'll first multiply 2 square root 3 uh, with both of them, distributive property, and then with x, right? The right side is y square root 3 plus 5. Okay. So 2 times 5 is 10. And then square root 3 times square root 3 is 3. So what we get here is, let me rewrite. We'll get 10 times square root 3 times square root 3. Right? And here we get minus 2 square root 3x. Then we get 5 square root 3x minus x square equals to 5 square root 3 plus 5 y square root 3 plus 5. Now square root 3 times square root 3 is 3. So 3 times 10 is 30. So we'll write this as 30. Now when you combine these two terms, this is plus in between, okay. Minus 2 square root 3 and 5 square root 3, when you add them, you get 3 square root 3, right? So we get plus 3 square root 3 x minus x square equals to y square root 3 plus 5. Now you have only one equation and two unknowns. How do we solve such equations? So at this stage, what we can do is we can look into the like terms, right? So these are the like terms with square root 3, correct? So we can equate these terms and also we can equate the other terms which are constants kind of right different types so we get two equations from here let me rewrite these two equations in a different ink so one equation we get is 30 minus x square equals to 5 and the other equation which we can write is these two which is 3 square root 3 x equals to y square root 3. Do you see what we did? So we equated the square root 3 terms together and rest of them together, getting two different equations. You get the idea. Now we have two variables and two equations to solve. Now we can actually solve it, right? So let's bring them together. We get 30 minus 5 equals to x square, which is 25. So x is equal to what? Well, x is equal to 5, right? 25 can be written as, actually, 25 can be written as plus minus 5 whole square, right? You could write this as plus minus 5 whole square, but we are given that x and y are positive integers. So only positive values to be taken, correct? So we get here that square root of 25 positive value is x 
and that should be equal to 5. So we get the value of x as 5. Perfect. So we got one of our values, which is x equals to 5. And now we can find y from the other equation. Substituting 5 here, what do we get? So, so we can actually cancel out square root 3, square root 3. So we can say y equals to 3x, correct? And since x is equal to 5, we can say y is equal to 3 times 5, which is 15. Perfect. So that is how we are going to solve this question. So we get x equals to 5 and y equals to 15 as our solution. So the trick part here is that you have to combine the like terms, right? So combine these together and the other ones with the radical together. So you get two different equations to solve and that is how you can actually, with single equation and two variables, you can solve and get the answer. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and let me once again thank all of you for participating so actively and posting brilliant questions. That makes our channel really a very useful one. Thank you once again. All the best.